Like I said, don't usually, it don't usually start getting heavy until 10 o'clock or more when they really start coming in. Okay. And the golden hour is when 77 year old Charles Jenkins, affectionately called Nut, kicks into high gear as the crossing guard here along Talbot Street in St. Michael's, keeping drivers and walkers safe. With all the people that are coming in and all the cars coming in, I got constantly keep my eyes on the people, the little kids and older people coming across the street and everything. Got to make sure they get across safe. This maritime community on Maryland's eastern shore is home for a little more than 1,000 full time residents. But on the weekends, more than 10,000 tourists can pack this town on foot and by car. If you've ever visited St. Michael's, you may have heard Charles first with his famous whistle, then seen his smile and followed his helpful instructions. He's been a weekend crossing guard in this town for more than 20 years. And his daily weekday job during the school year is also as a crossing guard in the town of Easton where he lives. Well, I've been doing this ever since I was in the fifth grade when I started out school crossing. And I, pick, I just picked it up and I just stayed with it all my years of growing up. That's what I like doing. I love doing traffic. I look at Charles Jenkins as a human traffic calmer. Because what you have, you have the confluence of cyclists going up and down the road. We probably have thousands of cyclists that does events in this town every year. We have the running festival. We have all kinds of special events that go on. So we got pedestrians, we got cars, we got all kinds of stuff going on where we need somebody as a human traffic calmer to do that. Nut Jenkins can walk inside this business in St. Michael's, grab a cold water and be among his biggest fans. He's, he's an icon here. Uh, you know, I've, we've lived here six years and he is such a fantastic person. He always has a smile. And even when he's really busy, if I drive through town and I slow down, he'll give me a high five. How could you not like this man? The smile, the, the, the energy, everything. Even the employees of the small shops along Talbot Street are grateful for Charles. And he's always just been such a sweet man, just so kind to all of us. Um, He's always there for us to help us cross the street. Make, he looks out for us, make sure we get there safely. My message is be, be careful, be safe, and observe, obey what I say and everything, and you'll get along nice here.